Hey guys, today we want to visit with you about making class changes for second semester. Now, the majority of you are probably very happy with your classes as they're going on or are happy with your selection for next semester, but there might be a handful of you who are thinking about making a change. So with that being the case, I want you to understand that there are a few things that you need to keep in mind when it comes to making a change for second semester. So if you want to do that, first thing to understand is that Platte County High School does have a course change policy. So if you are seeking to change a class for your second semester, you need to keep in mind there's a few things. First of all, it is you can only make a change if the prerequisites have not been met for the class that you're wanting to, that you're currently signed up to go into. Secondly, if it's a duplicate credit, so if you've already received credit for that class. If it is a graduation requirement and you need the class in order to graduate. If it is a failed course and you need to repeat it or if you're wanting to go into a more challenging course, that is Platte County's policy on whether or not you can change courses. Um, some of the limitations on changing courses, there's really four main ones that you need to make sure you understand. First of all, uh, the limitations is it's only second semester classes. Um, that's the only ones that we're getting ready to change at this point. And another, the second question also is that have you met the prerequisites for that course you're going into? Um, it's one thing to make a change, but also you need to make sure that you have the prerequisites to go into the course that you're requesting to go into. Second thing, or the third thing is, is the class full? So even though um, it might meet the other requirements, but if that course that you're looking into is a full class already, um, that's going to be a limitation to your request. And the last thing is, and it's, and it's one of the most important is, is the class that you're looking to go into as rigorous as the current one is that you're in? Um, a simple little way to think about that is uh, we don't we want to make sure that we avoid the, the scenario where you're leaving a class that's a, a challenging class to go to a, an easier one in your mind. Um, we want to make sure that you're staying in that equally rigorous uh, classroom environment. Okay, so if you want to change a course, then here's what you need to do. First thing is you need to come to the Counseling Center and you need to visit with your counselor to obtain a class change request form for the second semester. Second thing that you will need to do is that you'll need to fill out the form. Part of filling out the form is, is that you do have to get the signature from the teacher of the class that you are wanting to change. You also have to get the signature of a parent in order to do that. And then you return the form to the Counseling Center. Now please keep in mind, you can only return the form to the Counseling Center before or after school or in between classes. You cannot get out of class to bring a class change form to the Counseling Center. I also want you to remember that just because you return a form, it does not mean that that class is going to be changed for you. So if you're going to have a, a class that has changed, the counselors will visit with you to let you know that it has been changed. If we don't visit with you, it may not have been changed. The last thing you need to know is that the class changes officially take place December 16th, 17th, and 18th. So while you can go ahead and start picking up your class change forms, the class changes will only happen on those days and they will not go on any later than 3 o'clock on the 18th. All forms must be received in the Counseling Center by 3 o'clock on December 18th. Certainly we know that's a lot of information to take in at this moment. Um, we will have information out and available for you, um, whether it be uh, through email or the, uh, on the website, but um, we wanted to give you a quick overview and um, also let you know that um, this option is available. If you have more questions or you need some more information, feel free to talk with administration, your teachers, or the counselor. So again, we are always proud to be a pirate and um, looking forward to the rest of the week. Good morning, Pirates, and welcome to PCTV News. I'm Zach Cole. And I'm way underdressed. Zach, what are you wearing? Oh, it's, uh, it's actually my, my choir tuxedo. Um, we have a choir concert tonight at 7.30 in the Wilson Auditorium. So uh, if you're not doing anything, you can uh, go uh, watch a good, good choir performance. Well, I'll be going to that, but, you know, in a dress. Yeah, yeah. Attention students, we will have seven more days until we hit the holiday break, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride, or cram whatever tosses your salad. Hey seniors, if you or your parents want to add in the yearbook, please see Ms. Johnson in room 23 as soon as possible. Attention event staff, it's go time to sign up. It's time to sign up for winter events in uh, Mr. Dorman's office, so go check out the board today. 
Today is also the last day to sign up for the Holly Jolly Dodgeball Tournament. It will begin at 5.45 this Saturday in the North Gym. Teams need to be six to eight people and you need to have uh, all the paperwork in by the end of today. Let's send it over to Madison for more sports and weather news. Thanks, Zach. Last night at, last night at the swim meet, we'd like to have put out a congratulations to Lauren Ernest, Hannah Havmeyer, Haley Bear, and Rachel Valentine for breaking the school record in the 200 medley relay. Hannah Havmeyer also broke her own individual school record in the 100 meter breaststroke. Congratulations to the following girl swimmers for placing in the last meet against Kearney. These are... These swimmers are Bailey Newell, Olivia Forrester, Jordan Richardson, Sydney Wybright, Rachel Valentine, Miranda Huntsman, Rachel Gilbert, Ashley Burns, Mackenzie Edwards, Skylar Perkins, Abby Goodman, Emily Cruz, Haley Bear, Hannah Sayer, and Erica Jackson, Riley Schmidt, Catherine McCormick, Olivia Orff, Erica Fulbright, Geneva Chance, and Helena Dabney. Boys basketball lost to North Kansas City 58-57 to on Tuesday night. The boys will be playing Friday night at home against Lafayette. Girls basketball also lost against North Kansas City on Tuesday 53-33. to The girls' next game will be today at home against Park Hill South. Now on to the weather. Today it will be 39 and slightly foggy. Tonight it will be 33 degrees and cloudy. And tomorrow it will still be cloudy with 53 degrees. That's all for the sports and weather. Back to you, Bella. Thanks, Madison. Teachers, don't forget to help SAD during seminar for the Hope Chain. The direction should be in the folder that was in your mailbox. Next week, students, is your last chance to buy a yearbook at the price of $55. If you think you've already purchased one, there is a list outside Ms. Johnson's room door. Also, next week is final week, and we will have a regular Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule. There will be no seminar. Callbacks for the spring play are today after school in the auditorium. Now it's time for the news that happens in the world. That's right, it's the world news. The officer who grabbed Eric Garner's neck told investigators that he wasn't choking Garner, rather restraining him, and it was a technique that he was taught in the police academy. California is expected to have its biggest storm in five years. According to National Weather Service, it is expected to be one of the strongest storms in the terms of wind and rain since the storms of October 2009 and January 2008. Hey, we have a few birthdays in school today. Today's birthdays are sponsored by those students who walk on the right side of the hallway and those students who don't stop in the middle of the hallway. You, my friends, are the real heroes. Today's birthday is Michaela Tesmer and Haley Tongate. Tomorrow we have birthdays for Taylor Meisner. And Saturday we have birthdays for Chase and Ashley Beamer, Kevin Brown, Aaron Le Laity, uh, Michael, uh, Malcolm Ray, Mackenzie Wright, and Miss Potts. Happy birthday on Sunday to Emmanuel and Harnardio, Rebecca Geddes, Dalton Mc McMahon, and Chase Randolph. So we have take five. You have five seconds to answer the question. About Ashley Burns. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, the answer was B. The answer was B. Gorillas. You're watching PCTV News. That's all we have for today. <laughs> totally threw me off. That was awesome.